Sir John Soane's museum has been open to the public since Soane's death in 1837. It's like walking into the inside of Soane's mind. He filled its spaces with his collection of art, of fragments of architecture, of sculpture. It wasn't created overnight, it was a constant process of change, of augmentation, of adaptation. What we were interested in doing, working with an artist, is engaging with that same spirit, examining what it might mean in the contemporary moment. This exhibition is called Drawn From Life, 12 sculptures by the leading British artist Mark Quinn, which have been created especially for Sir John Soane's Museum. The carts are made in fibreglass, which allows that extraordinary level of detail, particularly on the hands and the arms, where you can see that kind of uncanny realism. Other parts of the sculptures are deliberately left quite rough, quite fragmentary, as if it suffered a kind of history in keeping with the works that surround these in the museum. The museum is full of fragments, and that's something that I think Mark Quinn's works draw from. The fragment is something that has this ambiguity inherent in it. The context changes how we see them in, in quite interesting ways being on the one hand very contemporary things, these works, when they're displayed within the museum, stand out in very powerful ways. But then there are other moments when the works merge into Soane's collection, and that's to do with their forms, it's to do with their scale, they're part of this sort of classical tradition in some ways. When you have the surrounding works bathed in the same light as these, then it kind of has that sense of bringing them into the same world that they can co-inhabit in different ways.